Today's topic is between horrors. So I want you to see me as your very own sister and I want us to like talk about this topic. Basically, we're going to be talking about mood swings today. And if you're watching this, I can relate then. Let's get into it. Let me start by saying that your mood swings are very valid. I know that if you guys watching this video now, they'll be like, hmm, what's the school with a different thing again? But that is the truth. Your mood swing are very, very valid. So let's get into it. Hi, welcome. If you're new yet, this is Fable Queen of Me, and I am the Queen with a difference. Alright, so basically, today we are going to be talking about mood swing, and this is basically a switch in our moods. So apparently, some of us feel these mood swings, and we cannot just explain. So, there are different categories of mood swing. There are some people that have come to the level of studying themselves, knowing themselves so well. So then they are going through a mood swing, like they can immediately detect that, oh, I'm not fine, or, or this is what happened to me, this was causing me to not be happy at this moment or something. I've seen many guys complain about ladies' mood swing and all of that. So. But today, I'm going to be sharing with us how we can overcome our mood swing. Basically, as much as our mood swings are valid, I also want you to know that God does not want us to remain there. God does not want the swings to affect different areas of our lives. God wants to deal with it with us. Do you get? So your swings, your mood swings are super, super valid, but then we must not allow them to now, you know, um, overpower or override other things that we are supposed to do or to enjoy or other person that are supposed to enjoy um, our space. And then they just feel like, oh, she's always, she, she doesn't always know what's wrong with her. She, before you know, she can just switch. We're not supposed to make people uncomfortable in our space because we do not know or we cannot explain how we feel in a particular moment. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can overcome mood swings. For me, oh, I am the king of mood swing. Or oh, let me say, I used to be the king of mood swing because these minutes I'm all over talking, jumping, you know, like I'm just there. But then the next minute, you just see me, I'm just sad. I'm like, I can't even explain what's wrong with me. So yeah, some of these mood swings just happen, especially when you are giving yourself to them too much. They just become like a part and parcel of you. And then you just feel like some, some of these things even come as a result of, uh, because we have made them, we have idolized them. We have made them like, okay, if, if we do this, then this has to happen. Do you understand? So sometimes for me, I used to, I used to, like my mood swings happen, like if I've spoken to you for a longer time, like a long time, then the next minute I can just become uncomfortable with you. Do you understand? So sometimes, like the moment I finish talking to somebody, the next minute, like the next action, the next reaction that my body automatically put forward is that you just become like, who is this person? You just suddenly become a stranger to me. But then I'm no longer in that zone, so, but do I say I'm not swings? I think I still do sometimes. That's why I said I'm not swings and valid. So several things can cause you to swing in your mood or to have mood switches and Sometimes some of these mood switches are unknown and also sometimes some of these mood switches or mood swings are because of our hormones Yes, your hormones as a woman. So because when you're already getting closer to that time of the month Different things like different things are just going on within your body. So yeah, you begin to feel not normal Do you understand? So those things can actually cause mood swings Then there's also the part of you not actually knowing what is wrong with you But you just feel like you just feel withdrawn from other people. You just feel like you just want to be on your own Nobody should talk to you it can be it can be a lot sometimes. Sometimes you actually cannot explain what is wrong with you. I've come here to tell you how I've been able to overcome my mood swing. So now this is it. Um, I got this scenario one day that imagine if you are in the church and the pastor is so serious about how he's leading people to pray and you just feel like oh my god this pastor is on fire for the Lord and then God himself walks in in that gathering and he says that this pastor that you people think that is so serious about me, I don't know him. He he's just pretending. He's such a pretender. He's this and that. And God begins to like tell us things about this pastor. How will you feel? You'll be super shocked, right? Yes. Then when he was on exposing this pastor to the congregation, he faced the next pastor and he also said, This one, he only looks like he's following me, but I don't know him. And everybody's like, hey, everybody's shocked that ah, this pastor, this, this and that. Then he faced you and he said something really good about you. How will you feel? You feel like if at the moment he faced you, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. You'll be you will be like, what is he going to say about me? And all of that. The first thing I want to do, I want you to do to help you to overcome your mood swing is that you understand that God sees you. 
to that moment where you're like, I don't even know what's wrong with me. I don't, I don't. God sees you. God sees the way you feel. God knows you. God understands you much more better than this. Like, He sees your inner mm -hmm. mind. Yes. So, how I started to come out of uh, mood switches and mood swing was anytime I'm already feeling a particular way, I go to God and I'm like, God, I don't know the way I'm feeling. Please just help me. And then I'll just see that little by little, I start to come out of that phase of my life. Then, another thing you should also know is that God knows you. God sees you. He can see you even down to the parts that you cannot see. God knows you. He knows you so well. So by the time you're saying, God, I really don't know how I feel. I don't know what's causing me to be like this. God is immediately pointing your attention or your spirit is pointing your attention to maybe somebody, something that somebody said to you that maybe that your subconscious picked and you were not happy about. Then, oh, you know, like, okay, this was actually what this person said and I did not like it. Do you understand? You'll be aware. I feel like when you're aware, you are okay. Okay, it's just like, let's say, your man coming to meet you and he's like, Why? what's wrong with you? And you're like, I don't know what's wrong with me. But when you are aware, you can immediately say, oh, it was this person that got me angry and I did not like it. Do you get? So, when you're aware, it helps you. It's going to help you a lot. So the person, the other party can now say, oh, sorry about that. Can you go, can you go, and all of that. Do you get? Then, you must also understand that God understands you. I said that your feelings, the swings are valid. God understands you. Like, he sees that part of you. Like, you just, you just, you, you just need to be much naked with God. Like God understands that situation. God is not your man that will talk down on your feelings. That will say, she's always like this. She's always this way. No, God is not going to say she's always like this. God is always going to like prefer a solution for you. But you must also be able to understand that God understands you. So when you're going with the mentality that there is something that understands me even more than I understand myself. You always walk in at any time. So these are ways that you can actually overcome your mood swings. That you can intentionally, okay, say, God, this is how I feel. I don't even know how I feel. I'm not understanding what's going on with me right now. And you're telling it to God. So God wants us to be naked with him. And we see how he can come through for us. How this video helped, helped you. I really hope, I really hope, I really hope, I really hope that you find interest in God and you, you begin to see that God actually understands what is going through you, what you're going through, what's going on in your mind, how you feel part time. God understands it. And your mood swings are worth, they are valid. You know that when it is hormonal changes and then you begin to get the mood swings, you know, you just look for the best thing to do to yourself at that time. Sometimes maybe you just have to withdraw from work. But for some people, they have to, that's the time they have to do the most of the work so that they can exhaust themselves into that work. So you get, so there are several people with several ways to, you know, when it comes to hormonal changes and then it's affecting your mood. Yeah, there are some people that all you want to do is just, let me just eat as, as they're eating, they're happy, like it's changing the mood, like they are glad, they're super glad. So just look for what works best for you when it is hormonal changes. But when it comes to things that you don't even know why your moods are, swinging then i think you should register with god be naked with god go to god just as you are and you'll see how god can come through for you i hope this video has helped you and until the next time i will see you bye